I'm going to be honest with you. I know NFTs are going to blow up and there's going to be millions of dollars spent on it. But Hello and welcome to the morning huddle. You won't find entertainment like this anywhere else. Hello and welcome to the morning huddle. Uh, I'm your host, Kenyo. This is the entertainment news show. Early, early morning entertainment news show for the week. Get you guys started. Let's start talking. We're going to go through, you know, our four sections. We talk film, art, music, books. Um, I don't have too much for you this week, um, but a couple things that are very cool. Hot. The, the top two that I know I'm going to make the show about. From the one film section, let's get started there. Um, the number one thing I want to talk about this week is the Teen Titans, season two of the Teen Titans. If you have HBO Max or the DC subscription, which I think still exists, the DC Universe subscription, the live action Teen Titans is very cool. I can't believe more people aren't talking about it. It's amazing. The actors, all the actors, actresses, Live action, there's two seasons of it now. Teen Titans, especially if you grew up watching Teen Titans. Um, it's very cool. They even used a Radiohead song on one of the soundtrack on one of the episodes. I was like, yo, this is my jam, my jiggity jam. My jiggity jammerson. My jiggity, it's my jam. Um, so check that out. And um, other thing in film that I want to talk about, the Nick also on HBO um, Max, check that out. Um, the Nick is a uh, show about hospitals and I believe early, like, like, like 1900, something like that, I think, or late 1800s um, in New York, and it's cool. It's a cool period piece. Uh, you, see, you don't see a lot of medical period pieces like that. I don't know, it was just very cool to see where medicine was at at that time. They did a good job. Clive Owen, great, carried the whole show. Um, it was great. Yeah, it's a whole thing. And it's done. You can watch it from beginning to end. Also great. Um, so that's it for the one film section. Let's go over to the American section for the number two story of the week, NFTs. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I know NFTs are going to blow up and there's going to be millions of dollars spent on it. But uh, mostly I don't care. You know, it, it, for me as an artist, you know what drives me? You know what drives me? Aesthetic. Beauty. Aesthetic. Um, digitization, art on digital screens is cool. Um, still doesn't beat art on, on, on canvases. So, you know, if the aesthetic isn't there, it's just not there. I think the same thing with the music, actually. I think, actually, uh, digital music experiences are not as good as um, vinyl or CDs, you know. So, it's just factual, you know. Does it allow for faster, better access? Of course. But that's not the same thing. You know, but back to NFTs because the faster, better access is a huge thing. You know, because we we um, we have lots of points of existence, and the electronic ones, every electronic point of you know input or output has its own address, and and that makes uh, for some interesting ideas when it comes to trade. You know what I mean? So as far as this empowers the digital art trade, I'm very interested in NFTs. I'm going to keep talking about them probably every week until they stop getting talked about because um, I'm learning new things about them. Right now, it seems like it's a little complicated to buy them. Um, if I was going to, I would like, I want to start selling some NFTs. So, I mean, I'm an artist, but I mean, I want to start selling them. Um, but if I was going to get some, you know, I think I would love to see, I would love to get some NFTs for some, from some people that I know. Um, I think that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's basically, you know, certificates of authenticity built on, um, built on, um, a, uh, whatchamacallit, cryptocurrency, something like that. So I'm learning about it. We'll learn more. I'm going to link you to an article that I read, um. CNN. Uh, drinking some black tea out of my Richard Wilmore show cup. Um, uh, so NFTs, that's really all I have for the American art section. Um, 
So let's go into music. Uh, the only thing I want to talk about in music, interestingly enough, I think there might be some other stuff that comes up. Uh, one, no. The only thing I really want to talk about is the new Kings of Leon album. I think that that's cool. Um, so I'll, there'll be a link to that. Check that out. I listened to it. It was pretty cool. Um, other than that, I, I just... Uh, the other things I listened to for the first time, shockingly, uh, was from Chance the Rapper, and, um, not for the first time, obviously I've heard Chance the Rapper, but I didn't really, I listened to his last album for the like, first time all the way through. It's interesting, you know? Um, and then, what else did I listen to? Um, I got into some of that, uh, I don't remember, but Chance the Rapper. Um, that was interesting, but anyway, Kings of Leon album, new album, link to that. Very cool. And then, very last but not least at all, um, the Laddington book section. Um, Luana Chambers. Uh, she, she's an awesome woman. She actually booked me to speak at the Democratic National Convention in 2016. Um, the one that was here in San Antonio. And uh, so I always give her props for that because she really didn't have to. I spoke to the, the women's group. I read a poem there and or I spoke on the women's stage, I believe. I don't know. But um, I read a poem there, and, and that was a big deal to me. You know, speaking at something of that scale, um, of that that authority level. So that was very cool. But anyway, she, she does a lot of great things. She's had, she's held down some, some major jobs in the city, and um, she has a book out. She has her own business um, called Tacit Growth, and she has a book uh, about nonprofits. I'm going to link to her book, Moana Chambers. I want you to check her out. So I'm going to link to her book. Go to uh, Go Live with you, obviously. Go to the page to get all these links. Um, and I'll have links to links to where to get the links. So it should be pretty easy for you to find them. Um, but anyway, that's the show. That, that's the morning huddle. Thank you guys for tuning in again. I appreciate you um, a lot. Um, and, you know, I'm, a, I'm an avid lover of entertainment. So definitely, if you got any suggestions, send them in. I've probably already seen it, but if I haven't, and I want to check it out for sure, but I might not check it out. Actually, don't send me anything. I, I got enough stuff to look at. I'm pretty good at finding what I like and what I don't like. And I want to help you find some cool stuff that you like that you might not have heard about um, from, from, from some, some other direction. So anyway, thanks for checking out The Morning Huddle. Uh, brought to you by Kenyo Poetry Live. And I am your host, Kenyo. Oh, shout out to um, some of the sponsors which um, basically right now is just the other parts of the business that are doing well. So number one, if you want to be a sponsor in the show, you want to get mentioned, hit up Saved Over Success. Um, their email, you know, savedoversuccess at gmail.com. Uh, of course, you can contact us too, and then we'll connect you. Um, uh, that is one way if you want to get, you know, you, if you're working on some, you have a product or a service that you sell and you want more people to, to hear about it, uh, we can build a custom campaign for you other sponsorship, uh, other other opportunities, other sponsors or businesses you can mess with, um, mine, head over to kenyo.org, um, and you'll find a lot of what I'm doing there, boom, and um, yes, that's basically it, um, thank you for tuning in, see you next time.